Let's go ahead and open up the application we've been creating in the other videos called My First MVC. Now, if you haven't created that yet, please go back and go to our Learning Suite content site and create uh, the application by following the steps in all the other videos that have been listed thus far. So within our My First MVC, remember this was our School of Hard Knocks application, where if I ran that application, it's the one that shows um, our little School of Hard Knocks and the Cowboy Up, and you can click on that link and it takes you to the About page, and you can click on the Add Student, and it takes you to the little controller and view where we just used our view bag. So what we want to do now that we've created our MVC application and we've created the SQL Server database, Hard Knocks, we want to link our application with that database. And the way we do it is we use our web config file. So click on the web config in your solution explorer right below your startup. And in that web config, there's a section called connection strings. Now our connection strings are responsible for attaching to our databases. And we're going to go ahead and give this connection string a name because it's going to act like an object. And we're going to call it hard knox context. Now the standard we like to use is that for our connection strings, we'll take our database name and then we just add the word context to it. The connection string itself identifies how do you get to that database. There should really be only one connection string section in your web config, but I could have multiple connections if I wanted to. I could come in and add another connection to it, meaning your application could actually work with multiple databases and even multiple database servers that have those databases. So I'll go ahead and delete that last add that I put in there. Now we want to go ahead and add our connection string. The connection string is the one that's responsible for telling where the database is. So how do we find that out? Let's go back to our server explorer and click on your connection that you created earlier. And then down here in the properties window, it says here's your connection string. So I'm just going to select, copy and select that connection string and come back over to my web config, paste that connection string in. And what it says to do is go to the data source, which is my data server, go to the database, hard knocks, and use SQL Server as the provider. Go ahead and save that, and that sets up your connection string. And once again, that connection string, that's going to be responsible for you going and connecting to the database on some database server.